All right, time for some instant reaction. Monday night, Packers could have been worse. Took a knee at the end, thumped the Rams. Blazing five went four wins, no losses, and a push. The push being the Titans. So let's just get that out. Undefeated Blazing five week. We have to pat. I have to pat myself on the back for that rather lucky week. Thank you, Raiders. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Sometimes you get the breaks. <laughs> um, you know, first, let's address uh, Baker Mayfield. Not easy. The center gets hurt first series in. They had the ball less than 24 minutes. The offensive line's a mess. There's no Cooper Cup. Um, this Ram offense, it's really a rebuild. Uh, they, I would move Jalen Ramsey, get a number one pick and start over. Uh, O-line outside of right tackle, I think, needs some rebuild um, years. They don't have a lot of cap space. Uh, you know, there's there's some, they pushed all their chips to the center of the table. And let me defend Baker Mayfield here. Nobody's had more coaches than Baker Mayfield in his first five years since 1950. Hugh Jackson, Greg Williams, interim, the disaster known as Freddie Kitchens, Matt Rule, quickly replaced by Steve Wilkes, and now Sean McVay. Six coaches, five years. More than any other quarterback since 1950. Come on. There's utter chaos. Uh, Stefanski... You know, Baker didn't do himself any favors with that relationship. He wore everybody out. Uh, hopefully, you know, with McVay, he can stick around a while. You know, I think when you when you watch elite quarterback play, when you watch a Mahomes and you watch a Burrow and you watch Herbert and Josh Allen and, you know, Jalen Hurts running around, we all kind of know what Baker is. He's a bridge quarterback or a backup quarterback. Uh, I'd give him a couple-year deal if I was, you know, say a New Orleans uh, or I was Houston. You know, and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bridge this thing for a couple of years, twelve million dollars a year. I think he's that. Nobody's gonna build around his personality too much, cowboy. But in defense of Baker, there's nothing to work with here. This is a rebuild uh, in the making for the Rams. I'd start trading off parts, getting some draft capital. Again, Jalen Ramsey. I've said this uh, for about three months now. I would trade him, get a number one pick, maybe get a one and a five. Um, or a one and an interior offensive lineman. The Rams could certainly use that. A starter at left guard and a number one pick for Jalen Ramsey. Whatever you can get. But they have to um, build up their draft capital. There's nothing Baker Mayfield could do. And also, as we pivot to the Packers, Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers, extra prep time at home, must win game. This was a tough, that's why I like the Packers to win and cover. It was a tough spot for Baker and the Rams. So let's talk Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Before the season started, I picked them to finish second uh, in the NFC to be a kind of a a Dallas Cowboy 9-10 win team, but a wild card entry into the playoffs. And my takeaway is, was that Aaron is not going to be warm and cozy in the offseason with rookie receivers. He will struggle until Thanksgiving getting acclimated with rookie wide receivers. Well... That is exactly what has happened. Um, That was not a difficult one to predict. Aaron likes veteran players. For the record, so does Tom Brady. Uh, But you can really see now Romeo Dobbs, especially Christian Watson. Aaron has built up a nice relationship. He's more trusting. They both look like excellent, excellent prospects. Christian Watson can really move. Jalen Ramsey grabbing him on multiple occasions. Didn't want to get burned by him. Uh, so now the Packers have the 14th, 15th pick first round this year. Who do you who do you take? If it was up to me, I'd go back and get another wide receiver. Jordan Addison, USC, a grown-up. Um, he's going to be a nice NFL receiver. I don't know if he's going to be a star. He's not a burner and he's not huge. Maybe he's a top of the second round guy. But I would go get Aaron Rodgers more help. The Packers have a history of drafting defensive players in the first round. They need another wide receiver and they need another tight end. Mercedes Lewis is 80. 
uh, although he did have a catch in this game. But there is a lot being made, and understandably so, about Aaron Rodgers' massive salary. But Watson appears to be a hit. You're not going to pay him anything for three years. Romeo Dobbs appears to be a very nice number two receiver. You're not going to be paying him for years. If you draft another receiver in the first or second round and he hits like a Jordan Addison, all three receivers not paying him, that reduces um, the impact of Aaron Rodgers' salary. So, you know, David Bakhtiari is making some money. Aaron Jones running back making some money. Aaron making a fortune. That's fine. You got to find inexpensive stars somewhere. Watson is for the next three years. Romeo Dobbs is an excellent number two receiver in this league. Go out in the first two rounds and get Aaron Rodgers, another wide receiver, and a tight end. Utah's got a good tight end. Take a look at him. Oregon State, I watched a lot of Pac-12 football. Both have nice tight ends, second or third round. You could nab. Um, The other thing that jumped out about Aaron Rodgers is he was really engaged tonight, really into it, Uh, you know, really emotional, uh, you know, communicating with the refs, barking at his young players. I love that. Um, The game still means something to Aaron. He was really, really all night long, verbal, talking, smiling, uh, engaged. I've, I've said before, I never have a problem with quarterbacks barking at teammates or coaches in game. That's three and a half hours of intensity. I've seen Brady do it. I've seen Manning do it. I've seen Aaron Rodgers do it. I have a bigger problem with the sort of off-season, passive-aggressive stuff, press conference stuff midweek, hidden messages. That stuff's, come on, you've outgrown that, Aaron. But Aaron barking during a game and being totally engaged, I thought he looked good. I thought he moved well. Obviously, he's had a banged-up thumb, threw the ball well. Communication with young receivers was really strong. Aaron Rodgers doesn't look like emotionally uh, he's retiring anytime soon. He played really, really well. Uh, Rams, you know, don't have much of a pass rush now. A lot of, you know, injuries and guys not playing. But overall, Aaron was engaged. Packers look good. Watson and Dobbs are big hits. Go get Aaron more offensive help. Now, they have not played well on the defensive side of the ball, although they have an emerging star returning kicks, uh, one of the better young players in the league on special teams. Their defense, I think, may just be a coaching issue. Uh, Jair Alexander got paid, hasn't had a great year. I think Green Bay's defense, personnel-wise, is fine. Uh, Try to get an edge rusher in the draft. That may just be, you got to make a move at coach. Uh, But I thought really encouraging to see Aaron with these young receivers took a while you know he didn't get very committed in the offseason in retrospect probably a mistake he would admit privately but I think they look pretty good and uh, they're still alive barely in the playoffs one more note one more note Uh, Jalen Hurts it looks like will not play against the Cowboys so you can run around if you're Josh Allen or your Big Ben, you can run around a little bit, 662, 60. Lamar Jackson, though, runs around, he's hurt. Jalen Hurts moves well, but he's hurt. Kyler Murray's hurt. You gotta win games from the pocket. I like my quarterbacks to have mobility, but it is a little worrisome when you see guys, three of the more mobile guys running around. Um, now, uh, Matt Stafford's also hurt. Not a runaround guy. That's an age thing. That's a bad offensive line issue. Uh, I do think the Eagles can really compete with the Cowboys, even if it's Gardner Minshew. I think they're so good on the offense and defensive lines that it'll be a very low scoring football game. Gardner Minshew, speaking of Baker Mayfield earlier, if you look at his college and professional stats, they're in line with Baker Mayfield. I think Baker's got a stronger arm. I think Minshew's a little better runner, but Gardner Minshew will account for himself pretty well. Um, you know, he and Jalen Hurts, Hurts is obviously more talented, kind of similar styles, a little small, throw a decent ball. Uh, Jalen's stronger, both move well. So I think the Eagles without Jalen Hurts uh, will account for themselves pretty well against Dallas. I see the line move from one and a half to six. I'd I take the points with Philadelphia. Uh, when, when when you can run the football and are good on both lines, 
you'll travel well. So um, excited for that one. So congrats. Get healthy, Jalen Hurts. Get happy, Aaron Rodgers. And get accustomed to struggling Baker Mayfield. Uh, he does not have much to work with at all with the Rams. I'll see you tomorrow on FS1 and Premier Radio. Another instant reaction. Monday Night Football. Packers easily over the Rams.